I continue construction of a tiny underground dream house with underground rooms in the backyard. And I have spent only $20 on builds a wood frame and fireplace. Due to the constant rains, a small pool had formed inside. Now I think maybe I can swim a little. <laughs> There is our underground room that I dug earlier in this place now. Link to video in description. Unfortunately, I can't get to him now. <sighs> so, <laughs> continue to build. I will measure the width of the dugout. I bought some work. And to make the boards much more beautiful, I decided to scorch them with fire. But I should be careful, because this is piece of work. <coughs> Before building the roof, I decided to bail out the water so that I could move freely inside. Yep. My task is to make a frame strong enough so that I can future withstand the weight of the soil and plant on the roof. And so far, everything's working out great, but it won't last long. My boot was crushed. It's good that at least my leg wasn't flattened. Do you think this will stop me? But this time, I decided to secure everything as powerful as possible. And in a few seconds, everything is ready to continue building the roof. It started to rain a little. And our pool started to fill up again. The next step is these compressed sheets of wood. I didn't think they would be so heavy! The next day, unexpectedly for me, it's starting snowing heavily. <clears throat> I had to dress warmer. Everything looks very beautiful, if only the snow hadn't covered our hobbit house inside. Since my walls have not been built yet, and the roof is not completely ready, and snow gets inside the room, I need to quickly build the roof and start building walls. It's starting building much more difficult, but I need to finish building the roof before we are completely covered in snow. I don't know how many degrees it is outside now, but the water in the bottle has started to freeze. I really like how it turned out to build in the center and right side of the roof. It remains to do the same on the left.
almost ready. All that remains is to screw on the prayer switches. And the roof is almost ready. I forgot to make a hole from the chimney. Perfect! Meanwhile, the temperature dropped to 9 degrees. But I can confidently say that the roof turned out to be very durable. I also bought a huge awning to prevent water from leaking and heavy rain. This awning fits the size of our tiny house. But next time, let's buy the biggest awning and make a parachute or hammock out of it. Make the most biggest in the world hammock. Quickly cover our tiny house before it starts snowing or raining. Later, I will fill the whole house with soil, which will make it even better. The walls are all closed. Now the snow doesn't fall inside. The roof is completely ready, so now we are not afraid of any storms. Great job! <laughs> so, let's start building and strengthening the walls. I have huge concrete blocks that I will use to build the front walls. Each of them weighs approximately 40 kilos, so it's not the easiest thing. This is a temporary option, later I will make beautiful round windows here. And on this side too. And now it becomes much more comfortable inside. We are no longer afraid of rain and snow, but so far we don't have a door, a bed, and the walls are very thin. A lot still needs to be done to turn this place into a real mysterious underground house with secret rooms. So learn here it's still very cold. Even taking into account the fact that there is far place. But be sure to subscribe to the channel. Because in the next video I will try to spend 24 hours here. Let's see how I survive here in the big frost. I'm sure it will be very interesting and fun. So don't miss all the interesting. See you soon.